Approaching the Holidaysburg Car Shop, one notices one of the largest car building and remanufacturing centers of the world. Our We Can Do attitude exemplifies that the personnel at the Holidaysburg Car Shop can build any type of car specified. This shop was constructed in 1954 as a facility to assist with the car manufacturing that was taking place in the Altoona shops, which were growing old. The two facilities, the Holidaysburg Car Shop, previously called the Samuel Ray Shop, and the Reclamation Plant were used in unison. The Holidaysburg Car Shop is a complex totaling 1,670,000 square feet on 38.34 acres. Of that, 724,596 square feet are under roof. Along with this facility, the reclamation plant covers 640,000 square feet on 14.96 acres with a total of 45,800 square feet under roof. At the Holidaysburg Car Shop, there are three assembly line runways capable of producing simultaneously any combination of new or repair hopper, gondola, or box cars to meet the needs of our customers. The Holidaysburg Car Shop consists of general offices, a material center, wheel and bearing shop, millwork area, paint booth, stencil making room, steel fabricating shop, an in-house maintenance department, its own power plant, and one of the most diversified fabrication shops. This shop designs, fabricates, and manufactures parts. Jigs, fixtures, and all car parts, as well as prototypes, are developed in the west end of the fab shop. Inside the Holidaysburg Car Shop, the manufacturing of cars is handled on four tracks, running the entire length of the shop. Here, with the designation of columns numbered 1 to 139, the positions are maintained by the finest car builders in the world. These car builders are craftsmen certified to weld, burn, and fit the car to the customer's specifications. In the shop, large overhead cranes are capable of picking up a whole car and moving it about as if it were a model train and placing it at precise locations throughout the shop where needed. Or it can place a car in one of the large tumble jigs. In the tumble jigs, craftsman welders using modern respirator type welding shields pour on the continuous welding from MIG welders that lie in suspension from all angles. The cars are brought out of the tumble jigs and returned to the runways where once again the shop craftsmen proceed to apply all safety appliances, specialty equipment and all other necessary car components. After the car is assembled and its air brakes tested to meet all federal standards, it then proceeds to the blasting booth to be cleaned down to bare metal before entering the modern paint booths, which meet all the DER, local, and state regulations. Once painted, the car is stenciled or decaled with the customer's logo and all identifying marks. After all these procedures are completed, the customer's car is thoroughly checked again by the shop's OK gang before it passes the Conrail Quality Performance Check. The Conrail commitment remains simply to be the best remanufacturing operation and to meet or exceed customer expectations. Let us apply this level of dedication, skill, and pride to work on your locomotives and cars today. We maintain the attitude, we can do it. The quad hopper program begins off the line with welding two Z-bars to form a center sill, then the end castings are applied. Assembly of the bolster and drilling of the center sill comes next, then assembly of the underframe, fixtures, and ends. The next off-line area is for truck assembly. Once the trucks are assembled, they are flown to the first online position with the frame soon to follow for trucking. After the frame is trucked, it moves to the next position for the first application of the air brake equipment. At the next position, the longitudinal hood is applied. Next, the slope sheet is applied, and both the slope sheet and longitudinal hood are secured. Now the ends, then sides are applied. In the next position, the inside diagonal braces and corner caps are applied. The next position applies the push-pull pockets and outside diagonal braces. Next, all safety appliances are applied. The car is now ready to be taken off the line to the offline tumble jig to complete all welding. Once back on the line, the minor D and hopper doors are applied along with the hardware. In the next position, the draft gears, couplers, handbrake, center plates, and side bearing clearance shims are applied. In the next position, the final application of the air brake equipment is applied along with the testing of the air equipment. Next, the trucks are removed and temps are applied and a final inspection is made. Once the car is inspected, the car is sent through the grit blast and paint booth. The next step is to retruck and stencil. A final inspection is now made and the car is ready for service.